right, so placed the order online yesterday. I think you have to give 24 hours notice. We are heading over to Chipotle right now to pick it up. I think this is just such a good idea for busy people or for households that have multiple people that are meal prepping. This is just the way to go. So this is 10 bowls. So it's catering for 10 and it's build your own bowls. And I did just one protein. So this is the chicken. And the cool thing about it is they package everything up so nicely. So how nice is this to just load it in the fridge at the beginning of the week and then you can build your own bowls all week. So I did cheese. We have salsa here, another salsa that let you pick two salsas. We did pinto beans, some lettuce, cilantro, lime rice, and then the chicken. And then they also give you a bag with all the utensils. So you can still build your bowl in the Chipotle bowl. So you literally feel like you're eating at Chipotle. And they also it, they also came with tortillas, which they're in here somewhere. So we did flour tortillas. The other great thing about this is when you build your bowl, unlike when you order it at Chipotle, you're actually measuring the contents. So your macros are gonna be on point. So I'm gonna have Mike build a bowl for himself now so you guys can see, and we'll tabulate it to see what the macros really are when you build like a good size bowl. All right. Mike is the guinea pig. He's going to build himself a bowl. Don't you think it's a good idea? Super convenient. Yep. And it's pretty cost effective. We'll see at the end of the week. 128 like, grams. Meals. Okay, yeah. so 128 grams of rice. Okay. All right. Got the beans in there. That's good. That's a good portion. I love the way they package everything so nicely too. Okay, so now going in with the shredded cheese. So a serving of shredded cheese, if you want one serving, yeah. is like 28 grams. Okay. <laughs> Just to show you guys, oh, that's yeah. what one serving of cheese is. Yes. They, when they put the cheese on, they're putting like three servings of cheese on there. Yeah. It's insane. Yeah. Right, Perfect. going in with the guacamole. This is what they literally overserve this so much. Yeah, I would go with two ounces or whatever you want. It just will we'll tabulate how many calories it is. I know they give a ton, and this is where they throw the macros off. So that's two ounces of guacamole. Yeah. You know, they put way more than that usually, way, but more. that's sufficient. They, they use this. These bigger ladles than this. Yeah, the big spoons, like the soup spoons. And they, yeah. That's the, that's the best part to me. I, they make the best pico. Yes, they do. So good. I'm going to put the macros up on the screen for what we measured out exactly versus All right, so I'm gonna log in into Mike's MyFitnessPal, what he actually measured out into his bowl and what those macros are, and I'm gonna put it up on the screen here. All right, so after putting it all in, this is what I came up with, what we measured in Mike's bowl. So it's a 900 calorie bowl, but look at how much protein it has. It's crazy, it has 80 grams of protein. What I calculated based on what Chipotle is supposed to give you, it's pretty close in terms of calories because on the Chipotle website, it comes up to 885 calories. So calories are pretty close. Here's the thing. Chipotle doesn't measure according to what they show on the website. So I know that when I get a bowl, 
It's got way more beans, way more rice, way more guac, way more cheese, less protein. So you're probably getting around a thousand calorie bowl, maybe 1100, even 1200, depending on the heavy ladle, but you're getting less protein when you get it at, at Chipotle. So the good news is if you do the catering, you can measure it at home and you know exactly what you're getting. You can calculate it better. You're going to get more bang for your buck and you're going to have the convenience. So this is a great option for a busy on the go family or someone who's super busy or some, you know, fitness dude who bachelor who doesn't want to cook or whatever. Right. Such a great option. Yes. Um, and for me, this really works out because we can really maximize it because since I have less macros to work with and I prefer chicken breast, actually, I'll use the sides to build my bowl, but then I'm going to use the shredded chicken from good and gather that I get from target. And so it'd be more macro friendly, save the protein for the men in the household. Um, and then we're good to go. But I would say this is a good option. I would definitely do it again. Would you? Would you do it again? Of course. Yeah, I think it was. It's I think fun it was good. And now we know. We're yeah. not guessing. All right. So let me know in the comments. So is this something you'll do? Maybe there's other places that you could do this with. I think like um, El Pollo Loco would be another good option. They do a good catering. Oh yeah, we'll try them next time. And yeah, so I think that maybe we will play around with it. But let me know what you guys think. And is it something that you would try? Comment below. If you're not already following me, make sure you give me a follow. Hit that like button, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Mm -hmm.